Greetings programs! I am Young Napoleon and I want to welcome you back to my Victoria 3 Let's Play series. This is episode 81 of a Sweden Learning to Play run where we are about, oh, with no mods and no DLC, where we are about to learn what it's like to go to war with another great power. I'm pretty sure Austria is a great power. Yeah, they're number two. Whoa! Hmm, someone did not do his homework here. I'm hoping that I can kind of push in. Uh, you know what? Let's send some more troops to that front then. Uh, so that... Er, now get to my barracks, please. There we go. I don't know. I don't understand this. Uh, advance Zealand, Zealand front? Uh, advance Zealand, Zealand front. Okay. What about these guys? They do not have a general. That's fine. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of Denmark over here. So yeah, we're, we're throwing down a bunch of troops over here. <laughs> oh, wow. So yeah, we're, we're going to see what happens. This could be really interesting. Uh, we're going to set them up to raid convoys, I think. Right there. Okay. Austria damaging relations to be expected. They are not terribly thrilled. Uh, and I don't think, like, I can't... Oh, but they haven't pulled anybody else in. It's just themselves. Okay. All right. Let's see, uh... Let's see what happens. Was there any other... Hold on. Just an extra... Okay, so I'm not... I don't stand to lose anything here. Other than some pride. And some manpower. Uh, let's see. I think... Where's my general here? War with Austria has broken out. Two arms. Okay. So... Before I get into that, I want to go back to my... Anybody here need... Maybe. Uh, how do I... I want to... Which one is my... Okay, this guy. He is commanding 47 of 52. Okay, so he's he's got everybody here. Let's go ahead and get a few more troops in here. Because I can support it. Got the infrastructure. So that's an extra five. That's all that he can command, but I want to have some backup. So that when, you know, if I need to pull troops out, they can kind of rotate. Wow. I've got a massive population here that I did not realize I could be leveraging. For warfare, wahaha. I'll just go up one. You don't have a whole lot to spare there. Okay. Uh, so we will move forward. We're now massively down into the red. So let's see what happens. We have expensive military goods, ammunition. Right. We really need to make sure ammunition is... In good supply. Thought I saw. Okay. Yeah. But good shortage oil. Yeah, 
we're just going to have to go ahead and pull it in from everybody because we need that oil. Alright, what's going on here? I'm, I'm nervous. A little nervous. Apprehensive. We got 40 more troops coming. Hey, right, nope. Does not look well for the attackers. Unfortunate. Oil discovered in Pennsylvania. Well, good for them. Good for them. That went red. I'm not. Now it's yellow. Yeah, I don't really know. And I can't tell them to like retreat or pull out or anything like that. I guess I could tell them to. I oh, know we've got everybody there now. Okay. Yeah, this this was probably a mistake. <laughs> but we're hoping to just wear down his war support faster. Expensive military goods, ammunition. All oh, right, we didn't do anything about ammunition. Let's go back to buildings. Where's my munitions plant? Here we go. Zealand. Scania, get those built up. Uh, and then tools, of course. Convoy raided. Convoys raided. Convoys are being raided in the following sea nodes. Our convoys are being sunk by hostile admirals. We believe the attacks are happening in at least one of these sea zones. South Atlantic Ocean, Danish Straits, Akadu Sea, Macaronesian Sea, Bay of Biscay, and active trade routes. Oh. Oof. Yeah, yeah, I forgot how much I was trading from Austria. That is going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, this was probably a mistake. That's okay. That's all right. We're learning. So we got an overly enthusiastic partisan. New South Wales. That was down there uh, by North Island, right? Um, I guess we'll accept that. I'm trying to get them... I, I like how, like, two episodes ago, I'm like, I do not want this to be an aggressive campaign. I'm trying to learn economy. And now here I am, just in a war with Austria. Uh, okay, overly enthusiastic partisans. Let's see. SKP. I don't think I want to lose their approval. They're already at, they're only at six. 10, minus 10% 10 momentum to the SKP. Who's the SKP again? Intelligentsia and armed forces. Uh, okay, so I guess I don't really want to lower the industrialist's approval, so we'll crack down, unpause, 
back to watching the war that I have no control over. I wonder if this was like Portugal sides with the US. Uh oh. Wait, wait, don't stop. Thought I was paused. I was, but I unpaused, thinking that I was paused to try and pause, and that unpaused it. Yada yada. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, first of all, let's change you back to maybe we'll just set you to escort convoys. To patrol towards. Vulnerable front. Why does that pull up this front? Front in. Did I get dragged into a war somewhere? With. What in the world is going on? Oh, hello. Who's this? What in the world? Alright, I guess I'm at war with the door? understand what's going on here. Why why is this a vulnerable front? Why is Tador? They're not in any wars. They're involved in a couple of diplomatic plays, but Alright, let's go ahead and declare a camp. Already backing one of the sides. How did that happen? Because I'm in an alliance? Oh, I'm just automatically... Wow! So that's what an alliance does, huh? Yikes. Okay. And then in that case, let's go ahead and get a general over here. Indonesia. Innovative explorer or a bigoted surveyor with bad kidney stones. Uh, we'll go with this guy, I guess. Okay, we'll mobilize and advance this front right here. I get dragged into a war against China? Oh, that must be this right there. Yeah, no, you can. Sorry, Portugal. Wow, okay. So that's fine. Oops. Dang it, I hit F1 to go back to my default Hoi 4 view. Uh, so we're going to escape. Unpause. Nope. Oh, unpause. This is the one that I'm really concerned with, right down here. Across the Danish Straits.
Theirs is going down a little bit faster than ours is. Let's just switch over to defense. Can I do that? Uh, let's switch over. How do I how do I do that? I just want to see my just want to switch to defend front. He's advancing. Let's just set him to Zealand, Zealand. Oh, that's the one that I just picked up over there, isn't it? Right. Advancing at Western New Guinea. Oh no, this is the Zealand, New Zealand. Okay. Uh, standing by at La Plata with two whole garrisons. <laughs> uh, okay. Or with two whole uh, battalions. All right, so he's advancing the Western New Guinea. That's fine. I'd like to get this guy to set him to um, defend instead of advance. So we gotta wait for this battle to finish, I guess. There we go, okay. So now everybody's set to defend. War with Tador has broken out. Two arms. Okay. Oh boy. Wow, all of a sudden I'm involved in two wars. So that was over here. Minus 61? What? Great Ching has 104. Oh my goodness. United States, what did you get me dragged into? What's the war goal? Make sure I'm not going to lose anything. Uh, let's go to information, diplomacy... They want to subjugate Tador, Puppet Belungan, regime change in Bhutan, and they want the Americans to pay war reparations. Okay. That's fine. We will set you. We're going to change you to defend. Uh, let's see if I could figure out how to get back there. Gonna defend that front. Okay, oh, we got an election coming up. Wonderful. Pasteurization unlocked. That's nice. Okay, so I don't really care what's gonna happen here. Because I'm not going to lose this. So that's fine. What we care about is over here. We've got better offense defense. But they're just overwhelming us with numbers, I think.
Wow. Convoy rating. How do I... Like, I thought I was doing that. Maybe that? I just don't have a very strong navy. I bet it's part of my problem. Uh, inactive trade routes. That's fine. Convoys rated. Yes, I realize that. And used construction. Expensive government goods. Expensive military goods. Yeah, this is turning into a bit of a disaster, but we're going to run with it. We're going to run with it because this number for them is lower. So, this is what we're going to call it for today. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. I'm learning. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. As always, I would take it as a kindness. And remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I hope we all learned something today, and I'll see you guys next time.